so next uh, the last topic in uh, inheritance uh, is uh, ambiguity in multiple inheritance ambiguity in multiple inheritance what is mean by ambiguity so in case of uh, multiple inheritance uh, so if a particular uh, member function or variable belonging to belonging to if the same member function is defined in two base classes then there is a ambiguity problem will come so how it will come just by taking this program it will be very clear here i am defining one class called class a so within class a i am uh, declaring a variable in the private section private a and within public section i am going to define constructor whose duty is to assign a value into a a equal to 10 and at the same time i will define one method called void print data print data so the purpose of print data function is what to print a value a value close this class i will define one more class called class b here also i will define one variable in the private section this is private integer a sorry integer a within the private section i will declare one variable called integer b in the public section through constructor i am assigning a value into b close constructor and write same function void same function which is written in class a c out print b value b equal to next take class c it is uh, created from class a class b public a comma public b within this just you don't declare anything here in the public in the public section just just to put a public uh, public section that's all close it and in the main function see what is what happens integer void main just to create object for this class class c class c and c class is cre c class is created from class a class b now this print data method will be available in two classes so when i say like this c dot print data so which method is invoked whether print data method from class a na class b na compiler is going to get confusion means it is not going to solve this problem so this problem is called as what ambiguity problem that means if a particular uh, member function if the if a particular member function belongs to same classes same uh, base classes so this kind of ambiguity will come ambiguity will come that means here print data function print data method i have defined in class a class b now when i say c dot print data what happens here the compiler is going to get confusion whether it is from a class or class b na because c class it is a child class for class a class b class class a method class b method two methods are available into class c two methods are available into class c because class c is going to take properties from class a class b so automatically print data method of a print data method of b class will will be coming into class c and then the moment you say c dot print data what happens here the compiler cannot resolve this problem because print data method belongs to class a class c so to avoid this problem so you have to say like this c dot the class name c dot class name scope resolution operator print data clearly you have to specify print data method of 
class A. Print data method of class A. In the same way, you can say C dot B scope resolution operator print data. Print data. Now ambiguity problem will be solved here. Now first case. So this is going to give error. This is going to give error. Now this is going to call printed data method of class A and this is going to call printed data method of class B. Okay. So in order to avoid this ambiguity problem, the function name must be prefixed by the class name. Okay. Object name. Object name means which object name? Derived class object. Child class object name. Dot class name. Scope resolution operator. Scope resolution operator. Printed data. Print data from two classes. So the values are printed like 10 and 20. 10 and 20. Just have a look. In class A, I have declared one variable called A. I am assigning it to 10 through through constructor. So print data function I am defining. Through print data function I am printing A value. So this is class A declaration. Class B declaration is like this. Here I am declaring B in private section and assigning 20 to B through constructor. Here also contains print data function. Print data function is available in class A, class B. And uh, when class C is created from class A, class B, like this, into C. But I am not using a C. You may not declare this. It is not required. Wide main. So here, then in the main function, what I am doing here? I am creating an object for class C. Capital C, small c. Capital C is class name. Small c is object name. So when I say like this, this is going to give error. First I will show this program with error. When I say like this, c dot print data. The compiler is good, going to get confusion whether it has to fetch from class A or class B. Like this, C. Memory is ambiguous. A print data, B print data. That means print data function is available in class A, class B. That is why we have to prefix the method name by class name. Now you correctly, to correctly, to correct accessing of this method, so this method must be prefixed by the class name. Like this. C dot B colon print data. Now it is going to print 10 and 20. By first print data method, A value is printed. Second print data method, 20 is printed. Like this, you can uh, solve name ambiguity problem in multiple inheritance. Okay, here this is a program. Just have a look one second. The comment is ambiguity in multiple inheritance. 